dollar strength it seems to be the only FX story in town, but perhaps you need to change your view. Trader Ken Wexler has after being bearish for most of the year. The reason for the shift to neutrality away from bearishness is because ultimately there has been a plateau of sorts in the fundamental data coming out of the US. Uh, is it enough to suggest that the story is all of a sudden rosy and, and you know, simply going north? To me personally, no. Uh, I think also the fact that the FOMC, or rather the Fed, has signalled that rate hikes are, well, as far as the market's concerned, imminent, but given that they are sooner or likely to sooner raise rates than not raise rates, that in itself has uh, abated my bearishness towards the currency. But I'm not outright bullish either because I, I do feel that the stability or the plateau that we've witnessed in the fundamental data or the economic data is quite precarious. So it's just as easy or likely that we might see some negative prints out there which will determine fairly, fairly quickly people getting off the, you know, the dollar train so to speak. Quite simply, it's a case of been there, done that. I personally think that as, as we sit right now, the dollar story is overdone. Uh, the, the metrics on, upon which it was, you know, has gotten this far were legitimate, but that's not to say that it hasn't run too far because we're yet to see further supporting consistent you know, data and information to actually support the strength and the pace of the trend. But again, given that the market hasn't seen a trend for you know, upwards of 12 months, it's, it's only natural that people jump on board and you know, don't want to believe that the dream may be over anytime soon. So what does this mean from a trading point of view? Well, Ken thinks that on the FX markets right now, there are far more interesting crosses and currencies than the US dollar. Personally, I'm not getting in front of the train, so I'm not, I'm not looking to fade this rally only because given the ferocity of the move, it, you're, you're bound under you know, strict risk, risk management guidelines to probably end up getting hurt and stopping yourself out in all likelihood just before it reverses. So the best bet for me personally is to stay away from the dollar for the interim and look for a signal whereby I think there may be a temporary plateau and somewhat, you know, somewhat of a reversal. Numbers that we could see in the non-farms could be the initial catalyst, but again, when, when the market's made up its mind, it's gonna take more than one outside print to really you know, move things along. So the focus for me would be something like the sterling or even the Aussie, for instance, but not against the dollar, uh, be it you know, sterling yen, uh, euro Aussie, uh, stuff like that, that, that would have a bit more of a, you know, a, a technical play to it uh, and is a little less volatile or at least a, a little less one way than is an outright dollar trade presently.